Okay, so we're going to move on. To, uh, obviously, we're going to talk about a few more things. I want to cover that. Um, last thing I want to talk about really fast is second-class citizenship. You know, I'm an addict. I've been sober uh, off all drugs and alcohol continuously for over 15 years. Okay? My success is your success, but we're here as a team. We're, we're a time together. And so with that being said, it's important to identify that, you know, I'm a second-class citizen. So what does that mean? That means I have the only mental illness whose actionable symptoms are arrestable. Steve, I can be schizophrenic. You really can't arrest me. I can be depressed and not shower for seven days. You really can't arrest me, right? I can have PTSD and not work. You really can't arrest me. But the active use of illegal drugs, right, is a function of having an addiction, right? So you guys understand in Michigan, the law is 0 0.25 grams is a felony, right? So a half an Adderall in your pocket doesn't belong to you. That's a felony. You know, the scrapings of heroin on a spoon is a felony. Not true for all states, but in Michigan, it's written up that way. So we understand that everybody gets felonies, they hand them out like candy. Why is getting a felony a really bad thing in modern day America? What's bad about having a felony on your record? Yeah. Maybe even in some places you can't vote, right? You can't possess a gun. You can't live in certain areas. Are you guys aware you can't even get student loans now? You know, the, the national law may have been changed, but for a long time, with a felony, a drug felony, you couldn't get a student loan. Now, here's the good news for child molesters. You can molest children and get a student loan, right? That's good news, right? And so also getting caught in Michigan with drugs is a felony and you lose your license for six months. You know that? Six months. But you can shoot somebody in the head and come out of prison, no problem with your driver's license. You can molest children, right? And still keep your driver's license. The only one that loses the license is being caught with drugs. That's very interesting. I don't know why that's going to be a thing. So there's a making a second class citizenship. When you really see what's happening here, addicts are stigmatized more in more ways. And if you look at all these different laws, all these different things that are kind of quiet, like, yeah, even the, the drug testing for welfare, the drug testing for this and that targets certain people, right? And uh, no one ever so focuses on drug testing judges and police officers to keep their jobs, right? All I'm trying to say is that all these things matter and I hate the way people are stigmatized. I try to break the stigma by being who I am and promoting recovery and the mindset. And all people that are in this room as well, we promote that. But always fight stigma whenever you can. Addicts should never be perceived as second class citizens. You know, that's, that's completely wrong. And it lowers the risk of recovery. Imagine if you feel that bad about yourself. You're, like, you're lower on a totem pole than a child molester. You're being treated worse in the system than those people are. And everything is a felony. That's not fair. Any questions so far? Is this helpful? Too hardcore? <laughs> honest though, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm honest, right? Okay. <laughs>